Okay, so we are on a boiler check here. And yeah, this boiler was installed in the late 60s. So as you see, it's not elevated up to code. Customer says, can't hear any water going through the pipes. So we're out here, we're gonna check and see if we got pressure, see if our pump's working, see if we're safe to operate. So let me get my pressure gauge. And am I gonna be able to spin it on there? Probably not. She's a doozy. I just uh, turned it up to 80. Okay. Usually, even, it's on 69. Sometimes I'll put it on 70. If I just touch it one time. Yeah. It kicks on right away. The, the light comes on. I, I, got the, I got the power shut off out here. Oh. So I can control it out here. Pressure. Pressure I have. Tighten up the packing on that a little. I got about, about 10 PSI. And I hope our of course. get a cap for that I get a cap for it because I knew that was gonna happen as soon as you open that valve up it's gonna leak I always carry caps. Caps, caps, caps. Save your button. Save your button and pinch. So, let me go get my analyzer. Get my analyzer here. Let's see how she's combusting. Got an old boiler, big cast iron burners, and at startup, you're gonna have a lot of CO because that thing dumps a lot of gas. Someone in the past someone in the past has they close these shutters for some reason. Natural gas, they should all be open. All be open on natural. Propane, that's a different story. Good and hit. It's like a heated mouse house. So we got some pressure. We are natural gas. And 
Let's start her up. Going to have high CO to begin with. It should come down. If it doesn't come down, then we got issues. So, 369. Three fifteen seventy nine, and she is not letting up. Pull my meter there at twenty eight hundred. Might let's see, let's see how our flames look. Flames look peachy. Before I go any farther, let me take this panel off down here. And I want to see in that burner box if there's any cracks. And we don't lose the wing nut. Oh, there it is. Because this thing is from the 60s. Find out why I'm getting that high seal. I don't know, the heat exchanger could be plugged at the same time. Don't know. Oh yeah, that's peach. Holy crap. Might be asbestos. Oh jeez. Holy crap. Yeah, this boiler is done. See over there? Let me make sure you're on. You see over there? Got a crack in the back, straight back, but... That burner box is burned through, and there's another plate that's right here. Yeah, the other plate is starting to burn through. This boiler is done. That's why I'm getting improper combustion, most likely. It's not supposed to be like that. All right, I gotta get the customer out here. Okay, got the customer out there, and what? It's kind of a goofy. It's kind of a goofy situation to where her son-in-law, I think, owns a heating and cooling company, but it does. I don't think he does too many boilers or doesn't do boilers at all. I'm not sure. Uh, he did come over and change the thermocouple. He could handle that. I don't know. If he's going to be able to handle doing that new install, I'm not sure. I don't know the company. Um, so, I did give her some kind of roundabout pricing for what she's got going on. I gave her a price for Navian, Combi, to take away, you know, to get, just put it on the wall. And instead of having her hot water tank in a storage room where she could gain more storage and that's also the valves leaking on it so she's got a few different options she can weigh them i don't know what she's gonna do but those are the things you want to check for when you are doing a boiler startup 
make sure that burner box is the way it should be because it didn't come burned from the factory I'll tell you that um, after running for probably I don't know I let the thing run for another 10 minutes just to make sure I had heat coming back on the pipes all the zones are heating she only has technically one zone but it's kind of uh, broken off into I think living room and bedrooms and maybe another room but I was getting hot water back which was it's working combustion straightened out a little uh, it came down from it was over 3,000 parts per million it's it settled back down but when I was taking the combustion measurement I also had the the burner door off which I should have put that on but I don't think it would have mattered too much anyways but it's uh it's running kind of safe but I mean that that uh that hole is burned through that plate plus it's burning through the side of the boiler those are the things you want to you you want to just make sure that the, the customer's safe that's what it really comes down to because uh, you know that is in a garage it's not really uh, installed the code today's code um, you know and they store paint and everything in that garage so it's not a good situation so hopefully she does something I told her either way if it's with me that's fine if it's with her son-in-law great you know keep it in the family but she's got to do something like that's the last thing I told her you got to do something to take care of this issue doesn't matter if it's with me or the son-in-law just take care of it I want to see you safe that's what it comes down to furnace checks are for safety a lot of people think they're hey you're out to clean my furnace no I'm out to clean the furnace but I'm also to a certain extent I'm not Molly made but I, the first and foremost thing on any kind of furnace check is safety or boiler check or hot water heater check. Safety, carbon monoxide. <clears throat> you know, are we combusting right? Is the flame in the proper area? So those are furnace checks, boiler checks, hot water heater checks. Things you have to watch out for. I will see you on the next one.